Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Half-Life 2 working with Vorpex. First you need to start the game and go into the options menu and disable motion blur and activate window mode. For the resolution settings it says you need to use um, 1280 by 1024 but that option doesn't appear for me so I've just left it native at 10, uh, 1920 by 1080. I haven't had any problems and the game still looks amazing. Once we've done that we're going to configure the Vorpex control panel to work with Half-Life 2. So let's take a look and I'll show you some step by step instructions on how to get it running. Okay, so first things first, we're going to start our Oculus app, then we're going to start Vorpex. So Vorpex is now in our taskbar, we're going to right click this and click Configure Vorpex. Go to Local Profiles, type in Half-Life 2, right click it and select Create a new profile based on this, then select OK. Usually we look in the Game Settings Optimizer for a set config specifically for the game, Unfortunately, there's not one here for Half-Life 2, which is why we've just did all of that stuff manually. Just hit Apply and Close. Okay, so there's just one more thing we need to do now to get the game perfect for Vorpex. Because you noticed in the Vorpex control panel before, there was no option um, for the game optimizer, so it, the Vorpex driver can't configure our game for us. That's why we've had to change all our settings manually. So the last setting we're going to need to change is the field of view. So just right-click on your desktop, create a new desk, a new text document desk document what the hell text document open this up type default underscore fov space one two zero i guess yeah it's the best for vr ah, save as auto exec dot cfg save as type all files and save it so that's appeared right here for us. Now just cut this file and go into your installation directory for the Half-Life 2 game where you've installed it. It'll usually be in C program files, but if you've moved it, I've moved mine, so mine's going to be on my secondary hard drive. So if I go into my Steam library here, Steam Apps, Common, Half-Life 2, in the HL2 folder, CFG, just paste this file here. And where's that? Autoexec.cfg. Great, it shouldn't be at the bottom though, that's strange. Ah, oh, right there, now it's at the top. Okay, close this, and we'll go in-game now and check out my in-game settings. Now everything's configured, Vorpex, the game, everything's ready to go. We're going to jump in now and check out my in-game Vorpex settings. First we're going to need to start our Oculus app. Um, Vorpex is already running for me. If it's not, just start the Vorpex using the shortcut on your desktop. So now we've got that open, we'll open Steam, and we'll click Play in Steam. This is the time you want to put your headset on. It's going to give you a couple of hints, game hints at the beginning. Uh, again, it says for me to put it to 1280 by 1024, but I don't have that option, so I've had to leave it on 1920 by 1080. Now, when you get in, you're going to be like, what is going on here? You can't hardly see anything, you know. Just press the middle mouse button. It'll zoom you right out of the screen. That's the, you know, that's the main thing I love about Vorpex is, like, these games aren't made for VR, so... When you're in menus and stuff like in Skyrim and things like that, you know, you, you really need this feature is really helpful. So now we can just go to load game and load. Okay, so we're in game now. I've loaded all my settings down um, to get sort of a, an okay frame rate while I'm recording in HD. Um, I've turned the lighting off and some crazy stuff is going on with the sky when I move my head. I've never seen that before, but that is so, so trippy. The sky moves with your head in the opposite direction to the rotation of your head. Anyways, let's go into my settings and take a look what I've got. Um, basically, I'm going to open them and pause for a few seconds on each option, and you can pause the video and match your settings for these settings. So these are the main settings that I'm using. Image settings. head tracking settings and that's it I hope you have enjoyed this video and that it has helped you out if it did give it a like if not give it a dislike and drop me a comment below if you want to see any specific games let me know in the comments as well and I'll try my best to get a video up as soon as possible peace out guys